This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. What do I have to do to get you in this new TV show up front? From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. As the traditional TV season comes to a close, the networks hold their archaic Upfronts event, where they try to sell advertisers on their new shows before they air, a.k.a. Upfront. It also means the networks make their final calls on which shows uh, that they already have are renewed or canceled. Yes, it's always a tense time of the year. (laughs) So let's start with the cancellations and ABC... American Crime, The Catch, Conviction, Dr. Ken, Imaginary Mary after eight whole episodes, Mm -hmm. Last Man Standing, Notorious is a likely cancellation. I think they just haven't said it. Mm -hmm. The Real O'Neills, Secrets and Lies, and Time After Time after five episodes. I I don't know that any of those were really (laughs) worth worrying about. No. CBS cancellations, Two Broke Girls, Criminal Minds Beyond Borders, Doubt, after two episodes. I don't even remember that. That was the one with the girl from Grey's Anatomy, the blonde, what's her name, that they... Oh, Catherine Heigl? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she was on that for maybe two episodes, and that was it. The Great Indoors, The Odd Couple, Pure Genius, Training Day, also, unknown at this point, Ransom. Okay, so... Many of those are being replaced by very similar TV shows. (laughs) Because they didn't work. Let's try the exact same thing and see if that works. Yes. (laughs) CW cancellations. Of course, this is smaller because CW doesn't have as as expansive a schedule. Basically, two hours a night, five nights a week. Right. Frequency and no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Also, the series are either ending or about to end for Rain and the Vampire Diaries. Mm -hmm. Not really canceled so no, much as... They, they were allowed to finish. Yes. <laughs> Fox cancellations. APB, Making History, Pitch, Rosewood, Scream Queens, Shots Fired, Sleepy Hollow, Son of Zorn, also 24 Legacy, Unknown, and Prison Break, Unknown. I'm sort of sad about Son of Zorn. Yeah, but I, I wonder if they've kind of wrung what they could out of that concept Yeah, at I this think point. so, but it was... It was a cute show. And, and Sleepy Hollow went is a classic example of one season too far. Yes. <laughs> like when your co-lead leaves, that's when you wrap it up. Mm-hmm. NBC cancellations. The Blacklist Redemption. Not The Blacklist. No. <laughs> Redemption. Is that like a reality show where characters from Blacklist <laughs> yeah. get to... Yeah. Get redeemed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Emerald City. Yeah, that show they pushed back like 12 times. Yeah. And then they showed it and nobody watched it. Powerless after nine episodes, and that's a real shame. Yeah. Also, Timeless. Canceled, then uncanceled three days later. Mm-hmm. Did someone go back in the lifeboat and change yes, history? Yes, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and Trial and Error, unknown. Yeah. All the other shows were renewed. A few notes on those renewals. Goldberg's at ABC, two more seasons. Modern Family, two more seasons, which will put them to ten seasons. And again, the families are really breaking up there. So, right. yeah. you know, it's hard to imagine what they'll be able to do there. Yeah. And Quantico will get a short 13-episode season and wrap up. Mm-hmm. On CBS, Big Bang Theory, two more seasons, which will take them to 12 seasons. Yeah, it's hard to imagine. Yeah. Fox, New Girl, will get a short final season. Mm-hmm. And apparently there's a time jump involved in that. Okay. Because they love their time jumps near the end. Yeah. Simpsons will get two more seasons, which will take them to 30 seasons. And that is not necessarily the end. Oh, oh no, oh, no, no. I, I, this is just guaranteed Until one seasons. of the major voice actors passes away, it'll be on the air. Yeah. And even then, it's a question. NBC, This Is Us, got two more seasons. That was the one big hit that NBC had. Mm-hmm. Let's move on to the new series introduced at the upfronts. Now, as always, mm-hmm. there's some trends. Yes. There is fill in the blank returns to TV. Yeah. There is different shows, same concept. Last year it was time travel, and this year, as you'll see, it's military drama. Ooh, military drama. Stars who the networks insist that we're gonna like. 
by putting them in show after show after show. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, it, they'll find one that sticks. Exactly. Starting on ABC, The Good Doctor, a drama with a 25-year-old art autistic savant doctor. Mm -hmm. Freddie Highmore stars. He's from Bates Motel, and he's Charlie in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, mm -hmm. the remake. Richard Schiff from The West Wing. David Shore from House will exec produce. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think... Because what we need are more medical dramas. Yeah. <sighs> the Mayor, a sitcom. A 27-year-old rapper wins the mayorship. Is the whole thing a stunt? Brandon Michael Hall stars. And IMDb shows three movies for him in post-production. Mm -hmm. And that's about it for his IMDb. Yeah. Well, it said introducing. Yeah, it is very much introducing. In the thing. Yvette Nicole Brown and Leah Michelle are also in it. I don't know if it's a good fit for ABC. I don't know if it's a good fit for ABC, but I sort of liked the trailer. Yeah, it, it, yeah it's all I, right. I really like Yvette Nicole Brown. I just wonder if it's not the right network. Yeah. The Gospel of Kevin, which is apparently a one-hour comedy. Man touches a meteorite, meets a messenger from God, and then has to find 35 righteous souls, Jason Ritter stars. So, big concept here. Mm -hmm. This is either going to crash and burn or become a huge hit. <laughs> it, it, there were a couple things it sort of reminded me of, you know, like maybe touched by an angel, angel or... Um, but uh, Joan of Arcadia, which Joan he was Arcadia. on before, right. Jason Ritter. Right. Yeah. So, you know, Very, it, yeah. it could work, it could not work. Yep. Ten Days in the Valley, a drama. Kira Sedgwick returns to TV. Yeah. <laughs> mystery producer, so a TV mystery producer, has a real-life mystery when her daughter is kidnapped. And I think Sedgwick can probably sell the show. Yeah, this <laughs> and I'm is sure a, she gets. She's the reason it's on the air. This is another one that seems to sort of have a limited life, though. You know. Right. You solve the mystery of the daughter, and then and what then, happens? And then what? Yeah. She and has if to have you another don't kid solve the mystery of the daughter, people get annoyed that you didn't resolve the right. story. So. Or the kid is kidnapped again. <laughs> every season, it's like Taken. The kid yeah. is kidnapped every every year. <laughs> Meanwhile, over on CBS. Young Sheldon, a sitcom, probably the most talked about new show. Yeah. A Big Bang Theory spinoff showing Sheldon's childhood in Texas. Ian Armitage plays the title character. He's from Big Little Lies. Zoe Perry, Laurie Metcalf's actual daughter, plays the mom and is pitch perfect at the role. Yes, she's got Laurie Metcalf's I, Sheldon's mom voice down. I wondered if it was dubbed at the beginning. It was actually Laurie Metcalf doing the voice. Yeah. Jim Parsons narrates and is exec producer with Chuck Lorre. It's single camera, which is new for Laurie. Almost mm -hmm. everything he does is multicam in front of a live audience. Yeah. The trailer, I thought, was quite touching. Yes. But again, very limited concept if you stick with the storyline that you hit in the Big Bang Theory. Right, well but at this point he's nine so that means they have at least ten years. No, because he goes to college well, when yeah. he's like twelve. Yeah. So they got three then, years. Well, but then he goes this... he goes to masters and postdoc and you know <laughs> Nine JKL sitcom Unemployed TV star takes an in a New York City apartment between his parents and a competitive brother. Wackiness ensues. <laughs> I could not even make it through the trailer for this show. Mark Furstein stars, who has failed series going back for two decades, mm -hmm. and then he got royal pains. Yeah. <laughs> Linda Lavin, Elliot Gould, David Walton, another guy who they're like, you're going to like David and Walton. And I do like David Walton, but he's... Just picks terrible things to be This in. is a waste of talent. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> the first five seconds, were, I, I almost I almost couldn't watch the rest after I watched the first I five seconds of the I trailer. I didn't watch the rest. <laughs> okay, Mark, stop right there. Okay. There is too much to talk about in one episode, <laughs> so we're going to do the rest in another episode. Okay. So, so, you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife Three Comics on iTunes. Or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching.